Hi, good morning. So today, let us uh, discuss about the involutes. Okay, what is an involute first? So involute is nothing but when a thread is unwound from any kind of geometrical shape. So the geometrical shape may be a triangle, a square, pentagon, hexagon or circle. So like this, when a thread is unwound from any of the geometrical shape, the path followed by the end of the string is nothing but the involute. So here, let us have a small example with three different conditions. So see the problem, that is draw an involute of a square 20 mm sides of the following cases. So we have three different cases. What are those three different cases? That is, the first one is string length is equal to square perimeter. So what is the square perimeter as per our problem? So perimeter is nothing but for a square is 4 into side. So 4 into 20 that is 80 mm is the perimeter. So when the string length is equal to perimeter, it is one condition. One will involute with one type of involute is formed. And in the second condition, string length is greater than perimeter, square perimeter. So that is, if we take 80, 85, 80 is equal, 85, 88, 89, 90, and all these six are just greater than that of the perimeter. And third condition is, string length is less than, let us take from 70, 71, 72, 73 up to 79, is less than that of the square perimeter. <coughs> so, you can see different uh, aspects in this one condition. So now, let's see the different conditions that is, okay. First case, let us see the first case, okay, is string length is equal to the square perimeter. Now draw the square of 20 mm, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, a square of 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So now from the point 4, that is square perimeter, draw a line from point 4 with 80 mm as the distance. <coughs> that is 80 mm as a distance and mark the dimension line as 80. So now the point will come from these points, right? Now from P to 4, divide that particular line into how many equal parts? 4 equal parts because we have 4 equal divisions. Okay, so now from 2 to 2, 1, second equal division and 3 to third equal division. Now from point 4, what you do is take an inclined line, okay, and take a convenient length and make a marks 4 equal parts and join the fourth equal part to P and similarly draw a parallel lines and name it as 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Okay, and fourth point is P. So now from point 1, draw a perpendicular line or a tangent. So from 2 tangent, 3 tangent and 4. Okay, so now take the radius as 1 and P, 1 P as a radius, 1 as a center, draw an arc. Next, 2 to P as a radius, 2 as a center, make an arc. And 3 P as a radius, 3 as a center, make an arc. And 4 P as a radius, okay, with P 4 as a center, simply you will get the point 4 at that particular point. So mark it as point P, that is P4, or you can write it as P dash also. Okay, in the same manner, draw a free hand curve passing through all the points from P, P1, P2, P3 and P4. So this is the involute which comes out from the string length is equal to the perimeter length. Okay, you can watch out this clearly how it is going to be drawn. And we will see the next case that is string length is greater than the square perimeter.
okay so how it is going to be let us see <coughs> so string length is greater than perimeter of a square so fine so let us take a square perimeter is 80 and string length should be more than that of 80 so let us take that is string length is 88 okay so now with the same procedure draw a square with the four side that is one two three four draw a line with the 80 mm okay first draw a line with the 80 mm as a square so i'll take down my video okay same procedure you follow the same procedure so that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 equal divisions. But 1 to 4 is 80. But we have the string length is about 88. So now extend the, from point 4 a 8 mm additionally. So look at that end point as P. So now the distance between P and 4 is nothing but 88. You can see at the dimension line. Okay. Then next coming to the point. Once again draw the tangents from equal parts 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so now the string length is more than that of the point. 1P as a distance, 1 as a center, P1, 2P as a radius, 2 as a center, make an arc P2, 3P as a center, sorry, 3P as a radius, 3 as a center, you make an arc, 4P as a center, sorry, radius, 4 as a center, 4P as a radius, 4 as a center, you make an arc, P4, and we have an additional that is same equal to 4 to p that is between 1 and 4 that gives to another point that is p okay now draw the smooth hand curve from p p1 p2 p3 p4 and p so now in the previous case you have ended the involute at point 4 but now it is ended at the uh, point between 1 and 4 side okay then look at the third case that is uh, string length is less than that of the perimeter so what is the perimeter here perimeter is 80 and let us take the string length as 72 that is less than that of perimeter so now let us see that is okay the same procedure 1 2 3 4 okay draw a length of 80 mm but the string length is 72 you have to put the point from 4 at a point 72 divide the same line into four equal parts but from 4 you take 8 mm from the right hand side or from point 4 from point 4 to here it is around 72 okay then next put a point that is p the distance between 4 and p is 72 it is seen clearly okay then next coming to the point 1 draw a vertical line tangents 2 3 and 4 now 1 p as a radius 1 as a center make an arc 2 p as a radius 2 as a center make another arc 3 p as a center radius 3 as a center make another arc and now the distance between this one will be taken 3 p at the same distance you have to mark it run between p and 3 and 4 that is p point so now draw the freehand curve from p p1 p2 p3 and p once again so in the previous case it is ended up to the point and uh, in this case we have ended up to here previous one it is ended here that is over the string and and now in this case we have ended up to this particular point so this is uh, the clear explanation about the the three different conditions what are the three different conditions let me repeat it again one the string length is equal to the perimeter so where in which the perimeter completes or involute completes at this particular point four okay so you can see my mouse pointer and here it will end it okay and in the second case the string length is greater than so when it is greater than the string length is going to end at this particular point between 1 and 4 okay when the third condition is string length is less than square perimeter there this is the picture that you are going to see and this one is going to complete at the point between 3 and 4 <clears throat> so like this you have to complete the involutes 
for the different conditions of the string lengths that is equal to perimeter equal to I mean greater than perimeter and less than perimeter in the same case for the circle also it will be having the same cases right thank you very much like it if you like it please subscribe it and like it thank you